everybody welcome back to the channel i am v and this is velarda street hair review so you guys today i'm going to be showing you how i did this half up half down braided in the front sew in and i'm going to start with natural stretched hair and then i parted from ear to ear and parted a small braid going from ear to ear straight across and this is going to be a small braid it doesn't have to be that small but you will see the size that i'm doing it straight across the head from ear to ear now this is going to separate where we put our ponytail and where we put our sewing that's going in the back so there will be no mistakes about where we are sewing and where the ponytail or braids will go so when i get to the bottom of this braid i'm going to do a two strand twist i hate taking out braids all the way to the end and this prevents breakage as well so now the rest of these braids are so super simple we're going straight down we're not doing any designs or anything like that we're going straight down and i'm going to take the tail of the braid before and i'm going to connect it i'm sorry the lighting is not that great but you can see what i'm doing so you'll see it when I do it again but we're going to connect that braid to the midpoint of the second braid and then we're going to braid everything down and then once I finish you will be able to see the tails that are included so this way you won't have to worry about the ends and trying to tuck them or sew them or anything like that so now we're going to come down to the end again and we're doing a two strand twist and we're going to do it all the way down you can do it halfway if you like but I do them all the way to the end so then this is our third braid last time i'm going to show you guys we are going to do a part i'm really not that strict about the part and being so so straight but we do want straight back braids so make sure you moisturize the hair before you braid um i usually put some coconut oil or something on the scalp as well as on the hair so you'll see me adding something to the ends of the hair when i get down to the bottom and that is actually uh melted coconut oil that you see me putting on the hair right now and so i went ahead and two strand twisted as well so you will see um the ends like i said tucked into the braids and this is how you see that fullness at the bottom because all of the ends are tucked into the next braid so now we're going to go ahead and use the crochet needle i always put all the tails underneath this prevents cutting your hair out when you take your sew in out so i always put even when doing crochet braids i always put the tails underneath all of the braids so this is the hair that i use from the local beauty supply store it came in three bundles in 18 20 and 22 inches this is a maui curl very cute curl i bought i picked it because it looks kind of natural but it's a master mix it's a blend so this actually is for my 11 year old daughter for back to school and i am not purchasing natural hair for her to mess up so we are doing this master mix blended hair and this will work perfectly for her and we will be able to take it out successfully without having to worry about her messing up the hair and whatever so as you can see me getting started with the very first weft i go through both of these wefts i am sewing these doubled because this is blended hair the wefts are really really thin when you use natural hair it is normally thicker so i definitely keep it doubled and i go back and forth i don't do any cutting so i'm going down into the hair and around the wefts i don't sew through my wefts only in the beginning of starting a new weft and so this is what it looks like with probably that whole bundle there's three bundles so for the back of her hair i'm using the two shortest bundles because this is a preteen style i'm not trying to have it long or anything like that so i use the 18 and i use the 20 inch so it actually comes out looking more like a 14 16 inch type deal because the hair is so curly so i actually put the needle through as i'm doing now and i go around the weft under the braid or through the braid and pull up so as i do it again once i get to the end of my actual thread i go through the braid as well as through the thread so i don't go around the thread i go through the thread and that's why i'm holding it and then i loop it as if i'm putting on a whole ponytail holder through like some hair and then it makes a little knot there's the knot 
So after the knot, I actually go sideways twice. So I loop it sideways twice and then I go over twice. So you'll see me going in the top twice. That's one and this is two. And then I cut off the needle, leaving some so that I'm able to tie a knot. So I go ahead and tie once and tie twice and cut the excess off. This will ensure that you will not have your clients calling you saying, hey, my hair is coming out, it's falling apart. So I make sure I do that every time um, I end a weft. So now I'm up at the top and we're doing like a C shape till we get all the way up to the front. And then you will be able to sew just back and forth and close up the top. So everything on the sides will fall forward because we sewed them to the sides and it will cover up the wefts. You won't have to worry about it. So in the front of her head, I went ahead and did a half circle, parted her hair out. And I'm putting that to the side because I'm going to use that for the base of the actual ponytail. Because sometimes it doesn't fall right when you do just the braids and you just put the braids in a ponytail. It really doesn't have a foundation. So the ponytail is kind of like just not sitting how it's supposed to it needs to be on base so this is the edge control i use i really don't recommend it it didn't work that great for her edges um it was fine for braiding because of course your braiding is going to look sleek but i don't really recommend it so um anything you want to do as far as braids in the front or if you want to go ahead and make your ponytail now and wrap it you can but because her hair is natural i do not recommend doing that because this style will not last long at all i usually like to try to leave her hair for at least a month so that's why i decided to braid the front and then once i get to the ends once again we are too straight and twisting i do not finish any braids that are not going to be showing with braids i actually twist everything so this is what the front of her braids look like and we still have that half circle ponytail on the inside and this is what we're going to connect all of our braids to and make an actual solid ponytail so i actually just used the rubber bands from the pack hair and put her hair in a ponytail wrapped it with some toilet paper and some spritz and wrapped the ponytail so i'm not going to show you that part but you'll basically just add some glue and wrap the ponytail around so this is what the finished look of her hair looks like you guys came out really cute i probably should have chosen a number two for her hair but we actually loved it and it will last her at least a month and even if i want to keep it in i can refresh her braids and and keep it moving so if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below any questions or anything i didn't answer let me know until next time i will see you guys later bye